Honorable uh, Solomon Dalong, a former Minister of Youth and Sport, has shared his views on the minimum wage demand by the organized labor union. He said their demand is fair and reasonable. In a recent uh, report shared by Punch, Dalong said President Sinubu budgeted large amounts of money for personal expenses despite his wife saying they don't need Nigeria's money. He also mentioned that labor has been reasonable in their demands, especially when compared to the lavish lifestyle of some government officials. He suggested that if President Tinubu finds labor's demand too high, he should start by reducing the size of his cabinet to cut down costs of governance. He said Tinubu should follow Buhari's example. In Honorable Solomon Dalong's words, when you look at the president whose wife said they don't need Nigeria's money, his residence is in Abuja and he is budgeting billions of naira for personal expenses. That statement says, uh, Nigeria, we are not, uh, we don't need the Nigeria money. All of my, my BS, don't mind them. Don't mind them. Don't mind them. <laughs> don't mind them. Uh, the reaction clearly shows that the uh, Nigerians are not even happy. Any politician that comes on social media either for or against this government will collect make with stay off social media. They will collect wutu wutu. Lalong, former governor and minister for that matter, all of you are his. Is it not Buhari footstep is following him? He said he should resist Buhari. What are you seeing? He's following Buhari steps. So. Mom, that long he did there before. You don't ever reject your own benefits before. You today among people will spoil this Nigeria. Lack of job they worry you. You better apply. Tinubu will employ you. It's as simple as that. Yes, yeah, so when this man was in office, he wouldn't have even supported. It. You want to tell me that uh, all of them that are in this in this cabinet, you think they don't know that uh, what is happening is not the right thing, but they won't talk because they are benefiting. They will surely observe table manner. They will definitely observe table manner. That is it. Yeah, Tinubu na devil. Somebody said Tinubu na devil. Don't mind that Jezebe, the wife of him. This one is calling Tinubu a Jezebe. The man Lalong, you are there before and also enjoyed everything you mentioned. You have told... We have told you before that no vacancy for you in Tinubu's administration. That or that, no get your time. <laughs> Cycle fans. Your idea is needed here. You are not even serious, Mr. Dalong. You have done your own. Leave president to do your own. At whose expenses? At whose expense, rather? Huh. Tinubu was a reckless statement. Uh, that was a reckless statement from uh, Mrs. Rebi Tinubu. All I'm saying, if the government cannot pay salaries, let the government cut down the cost of governors if they want to be sincere. And that is it. She was bragging, actually, in the true sense. They are there, so they are there to pack uh, our money so that uh, they can break the already record of the most richest politicians, making her husband the richest trillions. Okay, must you talk the president, his cabinet, the national assembly, the governors, the state assembly, the local government chairman are collecting fat salaries and allowances, and you are talking of a federal government and state government. You should lead by example. That is not an excuse. You know the worst part of it is that you see these people who are see, you know, we are they are living in penury. They are suffering. They are the same set of people that will not be defending these uh, so-called politicians. Is it not a? Uh, is it not? Is it not an irony? The very day the wife of the president told the world that they don't need Nigeria's money was the very day I knew these people just came to steal from Nigeria's coffers. Now. You can see what is happening with our phones and the lavish time that they indulge in. Lying is their way of life. But they will tell you, I know what you are going through. I know they understand your pain. This is the same uh, uh, um, tactics or the same slogan Tinubu has been using since he came on board. I know, let the poop breathe. Let you know, I know what you are going through. I will not leave you alone. I will not leave you behind. I will not leave you up. I will not leave you down. Oh, now watch. Now lie. The guy, they lie. Not lie, the guy. He lie. On point, say it louder. Yes, so that long says that a reasonable talk indeed. The intention of government is uh, to have a workforce that is weak and hungry so that they can 
always bow to them asking for help be prophets this is the most confused man i have ever seen in the corridors of power he was clueless as a minister of youth and sports if their demand is reasonable where is the money to pay can you imagine where is the money to pay so the money that uh, the so-called Tinubu and his cohorts are using lavishly where did they see it so now there's no money to pay so what will people now eat now they should just go to the market and be collecting free free food free everything you are the one suffering you say they cannot pay and when they want to do their own thing they will do it and you now be you still be defending them ah some people eh, hmm. now one of them will now work for them uh okay well, some people say don't mind that lazy gizzy there the man along you are there before and you enjoy everything you mentioned so go arrest all of them saying if the government cannot pay salaries let the government cut down the salary or cost of governance if they want to be sincere she was bragging sinubu's wife was bragging actually in the true sense they are there to pack our money so that uh, they can break the already record of the most uh, uh, pop, uh, uh, uh richest politician okay uh, now wow he did not come to build nigeria but to destroy nigeria more and more and we deliver nigeria from his hands may god deliver nigeria from his hands leave your comment guys there below and let us have your take